and welcome to Hawaii vlog day four? Is it day four? One, two. <gasps> It's day four already. Oh my god, time is flying by. Hello guys, good morning. So I know I sound kind of sick right now. I think uh, my allergies are just really kicking in. So I'm about to take some Claritin and I want to get personal with you guys. I look like I have a case of the suds. <laughs> Sorry, I sound disgusting, but girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So I'm alone in the room right now. Tara's out. She likes to wake up in the morning and then get some coffee and go like hang out at the beach, which is awesome. I personally like to sleep in. I have this weird sleep schedule where I go to bed pretty late. So as I was saying, I should text Tara that I am up and getting ready. Hello. Up and getting ready. I'm getting ready now and I wanted to do it on camera and I also wanted to just kind of get a little personal with you guys and talk to you guys about some stuff because I feel like I'm personal with you guys but kind of on the surface level but I kind of wanted to like talk a little bit about some stuff that I've been feeling. Last night it was like 2 a.m. and I started thinking about this and I was like I really want to talk to them about this and I started like almost crying in bed. I don't know why but I'm feeling kind of emotional and I wanted to share with you guys and kind of be like vulnerable for a little bit and um, yeah. Well, before I start that, I'm going to put on this mask thing. This is what I've been using every day for the past few days at morning. Usually in the morning. Last night I tried it for morning and night because it does dry out your skin. So you don't want to like right off the bat just like do morning and night. So for a little while I was just doing the morning and now I'm doing morning and night. I hope that made sense. This is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne, what is it? Daily Leave-On Mask. No, I'm not being sponsored right now. They did send this to me though in a, like a package and I really like this stuff so far because it's like I love doing masks I love them so much but I hate like rinsing them off it's kind of like it's not a big deal but it's a little bit of a nuisance and this is just one that you put on like under your makeup like just on your skin and it basically just helps out with your acne and stuff and my skin's been going a little crazy lately and I feel like it's clearing up a little bit it feels really smooth which is awesome so Tara's texting me I don't know if they sell it in stores yet but if you see it and you struggle with acne I recommend trying it out because it's really good. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do foundation. I'm just gonna do concealer. I'm using this Urban Decay Naked Concealer. So today is June 4th and it's a little bit of a rough day for me, I guess you could say. I need to set up a mirror because I can't really see. It's a little bit of a rough day for me because today is the day that Steph is moving to Texas. I'm not home right now, obviously, to see her and like wish her goodbye. I've been texting her though, and we had like a big goodbye the other day, and I almost cried. But Steph didn't let me cry. She's like, no, 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 you're not allowed to cry, you're not allowed to cry, but <sighs> did I want to cry? Um, I'm gonna grab my sponge really fast, I'll be back. If you guys didn't know, Steph is one of my Seriously, one of my best friends in the entire world. I know I say that a lot, but she is truly, truly, truly one of my best friends in the entire world. One of the best friends I've ever had in my entire life. And she's moving away to Texas for Teach for America, which is so, 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 so awesome for her. I'm so proud of her. This is a little too light for my skin, I know, but we'll figure it out. I'm so proud of her. She's so amazing, and she's going to be the best teacher ever. She's going to change so many kids' lives. You know those teachers that you have that, like, really make an imprint on your life? That is the teacher that Steph's going to be. I know it. I do know it. And I'm so, so, so proud of her. That girl is going to do such great things, and I cannot wait to see what she does. I'm going to go visit her as soon as I possibly can. Once she gets all settled in and everything, I want to go visit her, but... Um, she still has like training and everything to do so she's gonna be really busy and she's gonna be going to school simultaneously So she's gonna be super super busy, but as soon as she's free and gives me the okay I'm going to go visit her. Wow, I look pale. Steffi, if you're watching this I'm not gonna tell her to watch this, but if she does end up watching this just know I'm I know I tell you this all the time But I'm so proud of you and I miss you so much for the past two years I've been living within like three miles of Steph in college. We were like literally like a quarter of a mile apart from each other maybe and then when I moved to LA she actually only lived like three miles away from me and we'd see each other all the time as you guys know so it's gonna take some getting used to because I see her all the time I talk to her all the time I'm still gonna talk to her all the time but it's gonna be a little bit different obviously because she's far away and because she's gonna be really really busy and things are getting really busy for me but just know stuff I'm so incredibly proud of you and thank you so much for being my best friend it means the world to me and you know you know how much I love you and I cannot wait to see everything that you do I'm so so proud of you I can't even get words out I don't even know but 
Thank you to Steph because she seriously changed my life. It's really, really funny actually. A lot of you guys comment. I get it commented all the time. Even in person I get it sometimes. I went to um, Sephora in Waikiki like last two nights ago and the girl that was working came up to me. She's like, oh, I watched you on YouTube. I was like, oh, thank you so much. And we chatted and I was talking to her and I was like, oh, my best friend. And she's like, which one? You have so many. And I like laughed, but it's funny because I always get comments like you have so many best friends. Like, oh my God, like how do you have so many best friends? Come in. I'm decent. Tara? Yes. Oh, do you need me to come get you? Yes. Okay. Welcome. Thank you so much. Good morning. Oh, I like your little thingy. Where's that from? I'm having a heart to heart with my vlog right now. Oh, what's going on? I'm telling them, well, because today is the day, the day that Steph's moving. Aww. I know, I'm sad. Did you see she's having a lot of airport drama? <gasps> is she? Yeah, she was tweeting all about it when I was at the beach. <gasps> oh, no. I just texted her, actually. As I was saying, I, you know how people always tell me, like, you have so many best friends and yeah. all that stuff? I was telling them, well, I was about to tell them, it's really funny because actually growing up in, like, actually growing up almost my entire life, I didn't have a best friend. Aww. It's true. Like, in, in elementary school, everybody had their best friends that didn't have one. In middle school was the worst, though, because I was in this, like, group of girls who were all really, really nice girls. Yeah. Um, and there is an odd amount of us. I remember, I think there was either seven, I think there's seven of us, or there were nine of us. I can't exactly remember everybody, but um, there were a good amount of us, and everybody was like paired up with a best friend, except for me. And my mom would always be like, Remy, like, do you wanna go like hang out with this person? I was like, oh no, they're hanging out with like this person. Like, or do you wanna do this? And I was like, no, they're hanging out with this person. So, I grew up, without a best friend, but that was fine. I can do it on my own. I like actually didn't have a best friend until I, like the end of middle school when I met Lay, and then in high school I met Kaylee, and that's when I really got to have like my first best friend, and that was like, I, I'll never forget. It was like the best experience ever, and I'm still best friends with them to this day. And since then, I don't know why, but I think maybe just like, you, the universe is making up for me, like not having a best friend all those years. So now I just have so many best friends, Aww. which is really, really great. And I don't know, I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like everyone's always just like, you have so many best friends, like you're lying about them or something like <laughs> you're that. Lying. And I'm like, no, I promise I'm not. Like, I really, like, I'm just so lucky. I don't, I don't like, I mean, just loves people. I sound like I'm like bragging. I promise I'm not trying to brag. I really just wanted to talk about that because if anybody doesn't have a best friend and you feel like you're, you know, alone, like, trust me, I've been there and it will get better and you'll find someone someday i promise you maybe you'll find about a lot of people it's really really great you just gotta be yourself and eventually someone will come along and find you and love you for who you are Aww, <laughs> i really did want to talk about this though yeah this goes for also romance i'm still holding out for that one we're holding out for it but regarding best friends um yeah i mean i have tara yeah. i have Steph, I have Hillary, I have Kaylee, I have Lay, like I have so many people, Jess, Danielle, like everybody in my life that I'm so lucky to have. And I didn't meet a lot of them, a lot of them, until college. So sometimes it takes a while, but it's worth the wait. Aww, that's so cute, Rem. I don't know why. Last night I was thinking about that in bed. I was thinking about Steph and everything. I almost start crying. It's like 2 a.m. and I almost start crying. That's what I wanted to talk about with you guys today. Um, share with that. I don't think I've ever told anybody on YouTube or anything that like I grew up without a best friend. Um, oh, that sounds so it's, sad. I mean, it wasn't that sad because like if you don't know it, you, like if you haven't experienced it before, you don't know what it's like. So um, it's just like normal for you, oh, I guess. Yeah, I, guess. I don't know. I, I was chilling. I was fine. But yeah, that's me. I'm just uh, getting ready now. We're going to go to Cinnamon's today and get some breakfast. And then we're going to go to Lonnie Kai and go to the beach. I don't think we're doing the pillboxes hike because I almost threw up last time. But it was a beautiful hike though. Brows really do complete the face. What's everyone else doing today? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to figure, oh, I forgot to tell you. The Korean guy replied to me. The guy that, remember when last night when I was obsessed with that guy's voice? Oh yes? <laughs> you, you wrote something? Yeah, I wrote something. Oh my God. I have a good story to tell you guys. So last night at like, Maybe like midnight or so Tara's like about to go to sleep. I'm like Tara. I was like trying to wake her up I was like listen to this and I like turned the computer towards her No, I didn't turn the computer towards her I kept it away from her and I said listen to this guy's voice and I played a video that I randomly found on like my home page It was like a a tour of his like 500. No, it wasn't 500. It was like 130 square foot apartment in Seoul, Korea oh my God. It was like a little shoe box and so I watched it and like it was really interesting just because I wanted to see what it was like But even more than that this guy has the most amazing voice I've ever heard 
in my I life. Like a singing voice. No, yeah, just talking just voice. Just a real voice. Oh my god. And so then I like made her listen to it and she was just like, oh my like, yeah, it sounds like a good voice. And then we like watched him and then I fell asleep like listening to his voice. It's so nice. Anyways, I commented on his video obviously and I was just like, hey, you have a really nice voice. Like just wanted to let you know that like I don't know if that's weird, but I be what did he say back to you? I would be flattered if someone told me that. Let me find it. He makes a lot of, I think they're pronounced, is it mukbang or mukbang or something like that? I think it's a Korean thing, I'm not exactly sure, but it's that new thing where people just like sit and eat and like talk to the camera and just like kind of eat. I saw this one girl, I think her name was Kimi. I found her like a long time ago doing them and I think she's like very popular in the mukbang world. Oh my God, I have to play. His voice is so nice. What's up y'all, how's it going? I'm Ben Dean and today's nice video's gonna be It's a, a nice voice. Today. Anyways, he looks like a K-pop star. Tour, so I thought some people might be interested to see what a small and pretty check him out like his, I subscribed to him his name is Ben Dean B E N D E E N I forgot how to spell for a second anyways I commented on his video and I said <clears throat> his McDonald's breakfast what? mukbang I hope I'm saying that right how do you say how's it going Ben Dean here back with another mukbang video mukbang okay so I commented I just found your videos and your voice is the best thing I've ever heard lol can't wait to see more he said wow a big time youtuber thanks <laughs> That was awesome. He's cool. I love when people reply to my comments. I need to reply to more comments. Look at how tan my arm is. What? <gasps> Lashes curled. Maybelline The Rocket. And also, I didn't show you guys, but on my lips, I wore the Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm with Pomegranate. That is my favorite. Just some waterproof mascara. This is all I've been wearing lately. Just chilling. JC. JC. Who's in the house? JC, he was born to a virgin named Mary on Christmas Day. Has anybody ever seen Unicorn? What is it? Unicorn after, after dentist or something. Unicorn after wisdom teeth? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it's called? Something it's like that. so good. Steph and I watched it like a hundred times and we always quote this. She goes, like, if anybody just says, like, are you okay? Like genuinely asking, we go, are you okay? Because she says it at the end, it's the best. And sometimes if we're lucky, we get papayas. And we float, 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 float. I forgot to share with you guys what I did for my highlighter, but I've been loving this combo lately. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlighting Stick in the shade Hefty Highlight. And it's so great. It's just like a little stick with like some cream. It's almost like a cream shadow kind of thing, but you blend it out. And it looks great on its own. It's like very subtle, but I like using it as a like base for my highlight because it really makes it stick and like glow underneath. So I've been using this. I got it in like a Sephora pack one day. I like those packs because you get things that you wouldn't necessarily buy like normally and you get to try out new stuff. So I love this. It's so great. If I finish it ever, I don't think I will because there's a lot in here. Um, I'm definitely going to be repurchasing that. And then on top of it, I just use a little fan brush like this guy. This is from Sephora. Daisy chewed it as we can see. My little devil child. And I use my Becca the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal, which is my new favorite. For a really long time, I was obsessed with Champagne Pop. This is my new fave, so it looks like that. And I just kind of put a little bit on the brush and then dust it on the cheeks. I'm going to be very highlighted today. And I'm a very, very, very big fan of like a little baby nose highlight. I just think it's so cute. So that's what I do. I'm going to take my braids out now. I put my hair in these tight braids, and we're going to see what it looks like today. Yes, this is my new fave thing if it works out because then I don't put heat on my hair and it's got like a nice style to it. I'm gonna put some dry shampoo in too, give it a little texture. texture. Oh, I like! And if you want like less waves, you could just do one braid, but to be honest, I don't know how to put my hair in one braid because my hands can't reach that far back, so I just do two. <laughs> Does anybody else have really flat hair issues? My hair sticks straight to my scalp, so you gotta like. Give it a little massage. A little shush. A little zhuzh. Well, that's what the word is. A little zhuzh. Zhuzh. Ah! <laughs> kind of like it. It's very mermaid-esque. I love. So okay. I'm going to go. I'm like, sorry. I'm like, keep looking at myself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Betty. Oh my God. I love Betty. All right. So, we are in the car now. About to head out for some lunch really now. Yeah, lunch. It's like brunch. Oh, no, it's not it's, even noon yet. It's brunch. it's brunch. We're gonna go to Cinnamon's and get some food, which I'm so excited for the guava chiffon. Oh my god, that sounds delicious. They're so good. Why'd you whisper pancakes? I don't know. I just felt like it. Okay. I had to read your lips. I couldn't even hear you at all. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello.
hello. We have arrived at Cinnamon's. Yay. Going to eat some delicious food. First, we have to get some quarters though to pay for parking because one time Lay got a parking ticket here and it was like $70. And what? yeah, I don't really want to pay that. Oh, so God. we're gonna go get some quarters and put them in the machine and then get some sweet oh, I smell brunch. Food. Mm. Got the quarters, gonna go put it in the machine to give us some time. Hopefully a dollar's enough, that's all I got. I'm walking alone, Tara is sitting at the table. We got seated, oh my boob is about to pop out. I'm wearing this really cute top that I got from PacSun that I really like. Um, it's actually like a swim top too, which is awesome. So yeah, I know that was a weird shot at my boobs, I apologize. We got seated immediately, which usually I have to wait at least like 30 minutes, which is awesome that we got seated. So hoping this is the right one. All right, here we go, let's see what a quarter does. Oh, 20 minutes, all right. Come on, these nails, the whole dollar, just in case. And then if there's leftover, someone can take the spot and get some extra time. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Portuguese wow. sausage, crab cake Benedict. I could cry. I could cry. Hello all, we arrived at the beach. We found a bomb parking spot and now we're just laying out. It is such a nice day. Look at this. Also, I saw a dog jump in the ocean and he was here when I came last time, so hopefully we can see him again. We finished at the beach, such a nice day, sand everywhere now, but we're gonna get some water because the sun can get pretty hot and I feel a little dehydrated. See you there. We came to the Mackay Research Pier, which is right over here, over there. And this is a great place for some photos. Thought we'd take some really cute pics here. I parked like a pro up there. It was really impressive actually. Thank you, very so proud. Good. And we're gonna take some pics. It's a nice day. I'm waiting for her to finish vlogging behind the scenes. <laughs> we are just finishing up taking pictures at this beautiful pier down here and there is a beautiful wedding session going on like a photography session right in front of us look how cute they're so beautiful right now it's like the best lighting because it's not too sunny the sun's like hidden behind those clouds over there so just like natural beautiful lighting it's great wonderful I thought that was Tara I was like she's leaving without me hi guys my hair looks crazy we decided to stop <laughs> well I don't know where I'm going I don't know why I chose to walk through these greenery right here we decided to stop along the side of the road and there's this beautiful beautiful beach here lava rocks and things it's so nice there's a couple taking selfies over here and I feel a little uncomfortable. Anyways, we're gonna fly the drone now, but I left my backpack with the cord inside, so I need to get that. And Tara did not bring shoes, and there's lots of like glass and stuff down there, so I gotta bring her shoes. I wanna cry, it's so nice. Getting this, and I'll see you guys soon. The bride from before has now arrived at the same spot. She looks amazing. And look at this beautiful view. And there's the lighthouse over there. I wanna try and get my drone as close to that as possible without losing it. That would be really ideal not not to lose it that would not be ideal but to get close to it would be ideal and there's some beautiful like a tide pool of some sort oh yeah there's a little fish in there how cute all right ready this is beautiful looking room all right we're good to go Woo! oh look at they're watching it ha bye drone how's it looking beautiful where's the drone where? I can't even see it actually though. So where is it? Oh, you see that little thing in the sky? That's the drone. Oh my god, it's so far away. You know what? If I was anyone else and I didn't know drones were a thing, I'd probably think it was a UFO. Drone coming in for landing. Yay! Hello everyone. We just took the most epic drone footage ever. Also, one of my contacts has shifted in my eye, so I need to get back to the car to try and fix that. But I will show you guys the awesome drone footage that we got now. If you're lost and feeling like you're alone, I'll be the one to guide you home. You're ever about to go. When the waves are crashing against your heart.
<laughs> it's really weird when you film that kind of clip because you like just pause for a second and then you keep going and you just like insert the clips in later on in editing but wow I'm like seeing two of everything because my eyes really blurry I think we're just gonna keep on driving down the coast and see where we stop we've gotten some awesome pictures today it's so beautiful and whew, okay I can't really see I'm gonna oh Oh, I found my contact. Oh my god, I gotta go. Okay, bye. All right, guys. We just met the most beautiful subscriber. Her name was Hana. Oh my god. And we met some really sweet ones today. I don't know why I'm yelling. At Lonely Kai. And it was so fun. Little contact update. I got in the car, got it out of my eye. I was like, yes! And then I dropped it in the sand. So now I've got one contact. None on this side. My vision isn't too bad. You know what, actually, this one is better than this one, so better to lose it on this side. So, oh my looking on the bright side, we are going to head over to Sandy's now. I think I'll be okay driving. I'm like, I don't have the worst vision ever, but it is a little blurry, but I can still see things, so don't worry, girl. <laughs> you look a little worried, don't worry. All right, I'm just gonna have both eyes on the road at all times. Jesus, take the wheel. Take it from my hand, cause I can't do this on my own. We stopped at this lookout here. It's so pretty. <gasps> wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful sunset that's happening. I guess the sun is already set actually, but it is so pretty, look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so we just came to dinner. We did a little bit of shopping. Guess where we are? Back at Genki Sushi. Oh, there it goes. Our favorite place. It's really easy and fast, and she had some returns to do, so might as well, yes. I got some sushi, it's shot out on the car, but I forgot to get that. But I got some salmon and some shrimp with avocado. Oh, this is me. Where's mine? Hi guys, okay, so we are back in the hotel room now, laying in bed. I was just watching some vegan cooking recipes. I saw one for jajangmyeon, which is like a Korean noodle dish, and I want to try making it when we go home. Is that what you were watching? Yeah. I Oh, okay, cool. What do you think I was watching? I have no idea. <laughs> First you got the potato and then the zucchini. Oh. Yeah, I was watching that. It looks really interesting, so I will definitely have to try that later, but I am going to put on my little Neutrogena face mask thing now. Again, not sponsored, but I really have been using it, and I really, really like it. So I figured I would end the vlog now, but I will see you guys in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it looks so red. <laughs>